Hello, welcome back to Simple or Difficult. In this video, I will show you how you can create handrails like this. All you need to do is create your default handrail and keep it one side and then create a new balustrade to whatever design you fancy and then use it to exchange the balustrade of the default handrail you just created. Of course, you have you have to duplicate where necessary. Come on, I don't even have to tell you that. All right, so without any further ado, let's just jump into this tutorial. Let me show you how you can do all this thing I just said now. So first, like I just said, create any handrail, okay? Just create it. Now, the next thing we need to do is create a balustrade profile, which we are going to replace the ones already existing in the handrail we just created, all right? So click on file, then new, then click on family. Select the English folder, all right and then select metric balustrade panel so hit open and that takes us into the family editor where we are going to create the balustrade profile okay we're going to be using extrusion to create this balustrade okay so select it by clicking on it now we have to select work plane click on this drop down right here and select reference plane now we're inside sketch mode let's draw our balustrade We are going to be using a combination of modify and draw tools, so I suggest you watch closely. We are done with creating one part of the profile, okay? So click the green check mark to come out of the sketch mode. Now we need to mirror this first part. So to do that, select the first part, hit MM on your keyboard, okay? Double times, just click, hit M two times. That's the shortcut to select the mirror pick axis modify tool. Now click on this reference line in the middle, that will be our axis. So we are going to mirror around it. And with that, we are done. So let's save it. Now we're done saving the profile, let's load the profile into the project file. Next thing we're going to do is do the exchange I talked about. So first, we duplicate the handrail and then rename it appropriately. Edit the rail structure, select everything there and delete them. Now let's edit the baluster placement. Click on the drop down, select the balustrade we just created, hit OK. <laughs> please 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 we need to edit the profile we have to adjust the thickness of the element in the middle okay 
as you can see this is why our balustrade was looking so funny when we loaded it in so let's adjust it select the extrusion end and add 15 millimeters okay now let's reload the family into the project override the existing version you see that takes care of it but now we have another issue the gap is much okay let's let's fix that too okay click on the edit type edit balustrade placement adjust the distance from the previous change the value to 300 mm now hit ok then hit apply as you can see, we have a handrail ready for use. Now you can recreate and use the handrail anywhere and anyhow you want in the project, okay? All right, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, okay? If you did, please give us a like. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. Not only subscribing, hit the notification button, you know, ring the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future tutorial when we drop them, okay? All right, thank you very much for watching this video. I'm going to see you in the next one.